hello everyone today in this video we are going to work on this color themes so how we can apply different color themes in our vs code so let's get started so let's click on this file and then you need to click on this preference and after this preference you need to click on this color theme so there is a uh, multiple color themes so by default uh, vs code provide different themes so let's click on this first light visual studio so you can see this how it's behaving right how it look like so now i'm going to change it one more time so let's click on this preference color theme and here i'm going to now click on this uh, solarized light right so now it's uh, look like this right so if i go back here click on this color theme and here you can also choose the uh, monokai which is i think uh, this would be uh, similar as uh, uh, sublime text editor so let me open something here for you so you can understand it better and yes it's behaving like sublime text editor so by default sublime contain these type of uh, color themes right so let's go to the preferences and now i'm going to switch uh, to my one because i like uh, my one so let's click on this dark visual studio and yes now we are came back into our existing one great okay so now you can also do one more thing so here let's click on this preferences and let's click on this uh, uh, color theme we already can click on this color theme file icon like theme and one more thing what i'm going to explain it to you it's temporary online service use a snippet so you can also uh, save the user snippet so what are the snippets so snippets are basically a chunk of code which you use multiple times you don't want to write uh, the code again and again so you are going to save this into the snippet and you uh, uh, you set a keyword for this and then you call this keyword and this code will be there so if i go here first i need to uh, i'm going to name this test uh, snippet okay copy this enter and here i need to write my code right so i need to write the code of uh, oops i need to write the code like uh, farm i think i don't need to write this inside this it will automatically available uh, let me uh, type the basic stuff uh, it's not to uh, suggesting us i think it should be uh, no it's a uh, it's not json file so let me close this out to go back place your global snippet here each snippet is defined under a snippet name and has scope so prefix log and stuff like that so let me add this here oops i want to add a basic html form form and this form right and uh, let's uh, no it's not working as expected right maybe it's uh, behaving like different colors that's why i'm saying that it's not working so let's uh, give it a try so here i want to use this uh, snippet right so how can i use this snippet so i need to call this test snippet and i'm going to press tab and no it's made it uh, as director so let's enter on it and it's uh, behaving like uh, html attribute so let me make this test uh, snippet okay so basically it's uh, this uh, usage is you need to create the snippet uh, uh, snippet is basically as some small chunks of code where you don't want to write uh, don't want to write code every time so you define the code here and then you call it into your uh, into your view file so you can check the syntax from the googling googling it and uh, i will meet you in the next one bye bye